you know i gotta apologize that this video is kind of weird i'm still trying to adjust i could not find um it's like my little phone stand to do this video so i figured you know what we're just gonna wing it <laughs> Priyat Manatsu Nasca. I think I'm saying that right or no Manatsu Blushing Mommy I am currently learning Ukrainian I've been learning Ukrainian for the past uh, about six months so I am now on my phrases of learning because usually I introduce myself as uh, Manas food, Russian mommy, that's in Russian. And I decided to uh, fully focus on learning Ukrainian because I hope to be going to Ukraine sometime this year or within the next year. So now you know what this video is going to be about. Um, it's been an interesting time. Um, I guess it's a uh, What's the word for it? Bohana? Well, no, Bohana means bad. So, ne Bohana, not bad. Definitely not great. Definitely not great. Um, it's been just a really weird time for us. Um, my husband, Max, um, he still has a lot of family and friends in Ukraine. And we have been extremely worried about their safety and about all the citizens in Ukraine. And when I say all the citizens, I mean just that. The white ones, the Afro-Ukrainian ones, the Asian ones, because a lot of people don't realize how diverse Ukraine really is. And that kind of leads to the point of this whole video. Um, I've received a lot of supportive messages you know a lot from family from close friends and when i say close friends like these people actually have my address and my phone number like they close like we know each other and then i received some how can i say it um i guess passive aggressive type of messages from people who I thought were my friends and well they really aren't so let me dive into the bad and then I'll go to the good because I don't want to end this note this video on a bad note so I'm sure you guys have seen that uh, rather infamous video of um, the African students you know being removed from the buses in Ukraine and it's circulated all over media, uh, mainly Black American sharing app. And while all this was going on, I was fully supporting Ukraine and I was saying how we have friends and family there. So a few of my Black friends, none of my white friends did this, a few of my Black friends decided to send me that video. And one friend, actually I, I shouldn't even call him a friend because I don't think we're even going to be cool after this. Greg, uh, he's in an interracial relationship himself, so that was interesting. Keep that in mind. So he sent me the video along with the other ones, and uh, I was like, okay, well, let me kind of research what's going on here, you know, because I don't want to say anything before I know all of my facts. And that's also another point of this video. Please research everything when you see it online. It doesn't matter if it's someone you trusted or someone that you like, like research everything someone sends you because even I've been wrong on stuff. So more research I've done between me and my husband and other friends and we figured out that it was the Nigerian government that kind of dropped the ball on getting the Nigerian students out and other African nations, they kind of dropped the ball on getting the students out. But of course, no one knows that story. They just saw the African students being, you know, pulled off the buses and, oh my God, Ukrainians are so racist and, you know, we don't care about Ukrainians anymore. And, you know, if people have that opinion, that's theirs. Like, I think COVID taught me that people are gonna do whatever it is they wanna do. They're gonna feel however they wanna feel. 
And so there's nothing I personally can do about that. But when people are passive aggressive to me about it, that's when I have an issue, you know? Why are you stoking the flames thinking I'm not gonna pull out a flamethrower? I will light that ass up. And so I pretty much told everyone, you know, I, I don't understand why you guys are not thoroughly researching the issue. But then furthermore, I do not understand why everyone watches one hour of CNN and suddenly they're a foreign policy expert. Um, my husband and I, we've known about the conflict since 2014. And there is a whole documentary on Netflix that everyone should watch. Ukraine on fire. Please watch that. It is actually an award winning. I think it was actually nominated for an Oscar. Please watch that. It will tell you a whole lot of stuff. Okay. So we followed this conflict for the last eight years. And we've heard rumors since December 2021, Putin was going to invade. And my husband has talked to his friends and his family, and we were getting pretty much on the ground detail about all of it, you know, from the jump. And so we knew Putin was going to invade before he actually did it. You know, everyone found out the day of, we knew about it. 48 hours before, like, no, he's going to invade on Tuesday. And sure enough, he did. So it, it's been really interesting to see so many people, you know, suddenly know everything there is about the conflict and they're trying to school me about it. And I kind of go, mm, I'm, I'm not sure why you're doing this, but hey, you know, if it makes you sleep at night. Another thing that bothered me is, you know, People act like they don't see color and people act like they don't care, but there really is, you know, an underlying that sister shouldn't be with that white guy that I still get from black men. And I'm pretty sure my former friend, he kind of had that, which is funny because he's actually married to an Asian woman. And I was thinking, you know what, I can send his little black self, the Latasha Harlan's documentary and see how he feels about them apples. Um, but you know, I'm not petty like that. I'm not petty like that, you know. Que sera, sera. Another separate issue about what's going on is, even though I've had a lot of white friends support me and support me and my husband, um, it hasn't escaped me, okay? These same white friends were a little quiet during, you know, the BLM protests back in 2020. Um, I did get rid of a lot of my white friends, friends. I kept a few and, you know, those few, you know, were okay. But then it's it seemed like how, I guess, supportive and patriotic they've become for Ukraine, but they were kind of tepid with what I was going through just two years ago, I kind of went, mm, okay, you know, like I kind of see what, what's going on here. So, so. it's been uh, an interesting ride for me. <laughs> you know? um, I kind of gotten it from all sides, you know, so I decided like, you know what? I don't think I really need to be on social media too much right now. But the good news is that, you know, our families have been extremely supportive. Our close friends have been extremely supportive. So, you know, my mom's church has been praying for Max and his family and friends. And, you know, I've had a lot of friends here, you know, in Pasadena, you know, definitely keeping Max in prayer. So, you know, with, with all the, yeah, there's been a lot of great, so I'm very, very happy with that. So I just received a news bulletin that Russia and Ukraine have temporarily, <laughs> temporarily uh, stopped to cease fire. Not stop, but uh, agree to cease fire. So we'll see, you know. Um, the thing is Putin, he's very unpredictable. So we don't know exactly 
what his overall goal is, you know? I'm not sure he even knows, honestly. Um, you know, he's a, a man who's acting like he has nothing to lose. And when you have nothing to lose, that's when you're the most dangerous. So just, you know, keep my husband and his family in your thoughts. And, you know, keep all the Ukrainians in your, in your thoughts, too. Um, the news, they've been very smart. The mainstream news has been very smart and only focusing on the white Ukrainians. And so they have everyone believe it's just, you know, all white everything over there. And then they have a, a sizable Asian population. They have a sizable uh, African population. You know, and I'm talking about people who are Afro-Ukrainians, so that they became Ukrainian citizens, or they are, you know, half Ukrainian, they're half African. And same thing with the Asians, you know, they're half Ukrainian, half um, Asian. So, you know, Ukraine is rather diverse, and I, I hope you guys keep that in mind. You know, it's not just, you know, oh, I don't care about those white people, like, but no, there's also other minorities there, too. So that is it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, we do have a lot of families still in Ukraine, like I mentioned before. They're doing okay. I cannot state exactly where they are just because I don't know who's watching this video. So, but they are safe where they are. So um, please keep them in your thoughts and I will see you next video. Take care, God bless.